At Health Watch, when you hear the word Botox, you probably think cosmetic procedure to reduce wrinkles. But Botox has some very serious medical uses as well. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us now it just got approved to treat spastic muscles. That's right. And in fact, the first FDA approval for Botox was to treat spastic muscles in the eyelids, believe it or not. And that was 30 years ago. Since then, Botox has been approved for 13 indications, including wrinkles. The latest is to treat children with spastic muscles, usually from cerebral palsy. See, I'm using my arm. This is no small feat for 14-year-old <laughs> Dina Frank. I'm gonna put this on your hand, right hand. Yeah. <gasps> you did it. Dina's upper limb movements are being assessed during a friendly game of UNO at Columbia University Medical Center with her doctor, Heck Young Kim. Dina has cerebral palsy as a result of a brain bleed after being born prematurely. Her range of motion is encouraging for doctor and patient, and it's due in part to Dina's treatment with Botox, recently approved by the FDA for treatment in pediatric patients for arm muscle spasticity. I'm expecting that this medication is going to improve her stiffness, which is really causing problems. Prior to FDA approval, Dr. Kim chose to use Botox as part of Dina's treatment. The approval means easier availability for more patients. Dina's had it about 15 times. Dr. Kim, along with a team of therapists, gauge Dina's finger, elbow, and shoulder movements. I'm gonna stretch your arm. And then determine where the Botox is needed. We can sort it out the stiff muscle to calm down so she can use the each muscles appropriately. So therefore, her stiff muscle gets better as she uses more. Dina's mother, Marcy Frank, says the Botox has meant an improved quality of life for her daughter. It allows her to relax. It allows her to reach farther, to reach higher. So I think that it just makes her more comfortable, and that comfort brings more confidence for her that she can move without limitations. Now, Botox is being evaluated for muscle groups other than arms. Arms were approved first, though, because being able to use one's arms and hands restores a huge amount of both independence and quality of life. As you can imagine, being able to do things with your arms makes a huge difference. The Botox, like it does with wrinkles, wears off after mm -hmm. a few months, mm -hmm. and then they just repeat yeah. it. Yeah, she looked so happy. <laughs> oh, just to be able to do these things, she was ecstatic. Wow. Yeah. She really did. Amazing. Thank you, Dr. Max. You, you